Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. I'm getting awesome! You're getting awesome! We're getting awesome! Yeah, that's what I said now! Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cast. We're back again. It's episode 61. People are laughing at me already. What's going on? 61. <laughs> I'm Mike Sorg, John. and with me out of uh, out of uh, uh, what are those wires? What's going on there? You are, are, are you in a warehouse? You just swore. Who me? Yes, you, okay. Rob De La Creta. How you doing this week? Are there wires? There's no wires in my shop. No, no. What, no. Are, what are these orange things? It looks like extension orange cords. Things. Oh, those! Those are uh, those are ratchet straps from a beam that are holding up a rack of oh, t-shirts. Oh, that makes because sense. Because I actually I have a prop. Okay, you ready? You have a prop. I have a prop. Whoa! Is I is that going to be backwards on your? No, own? that's right. That's just backwards for you. Because okay, there you go. Yeah, wow. wow. There's some product placement. Yeah, right. Cotton factory. Okay. Now you yeah. owe us money. All right. Well. Um, we, uh, that thing I was talking about last week where I was like fixing the server and whatnot so it could actually like make was, money. Was this your gift for that? No, this just happens to be sitting next to whoever's desk I'm stealing at the moment. Okay. But um, yeah, that thing's up. So that's where I am. I'm in uh, the cotton factory hanging out after hours because I still have a, an incredible amount of work to do downstairs before I go to uh, Baltimore next Tuesday. Baltimore. Excellent. Baltimore. Fantastic. Very nice. And then, uh, there you're hearing Sam Wilson of StoryPixel.com joins us once again. And you're in Pittsburgh now. I'm in Pittsburgh. And because I'm in Pittsburgh, I changed my URL. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I think I, I think I still have the old one then. What's your new URL? Um, the, the new one is uh, amnotsam.com. That makes more sense. And because I, he is, in fact, yeah, not I, actually Sam Wilson. Yeah. You're the fake That's Sam true. Wilson? No. I Well, are you, yes, are but you, are I, uh, my real name, my given name is Jeremy. Oh. Yeah. But um, because that name sucks, I go by Sam. <laughs> so I'm sorry for you three Jeremys out there. But also, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing Ch- uh, Chachi. Yes. yes, I see. I only see you. I don't see everybody. No, you're not going to. It's uh. It was, oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, I am not Sam. Oh, so I should I'll probably look at him when he's talking. <laughs> yes, yes. They, or they, else they, he's they, gonna feel like he's not part of the conversation. They're gonna. Or I'm ignoring him. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't want him to feel like I'm ignoring him. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, yeah, we're testing a new setup here with a video switcher, so the Skype people will actually see something now. Okay. As opposed to just bad webcams, if anything at all. So yeah, uh, I don't have to deal with your face all the time. Hi. Yeah, and that, so I just leave it on Chachi's face. There, that's the shot they're seeing for you video uh, people out there. Chachi, how you doing? I'm all right. How are you? <laughs> You're so <laughs> subdued. You were not this subdued like an hour <sighs> ago. Yeah. Well, I have to watch my language now, which means I have to calm down, or the language <laughs> is just gonna flow out. <laughs> what are you? Okay. You. It's obvious to everybody. You're wearing two pairs of headphones. I'm. What are you doing? What nothing, have you been watching? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I've been watching crap. I've been intently listening to you guys ramble on about the dumbest things while you were trying to fix audio. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Chuch. <laughs> Man. Wow. This this is a great well, positive start to the show. I, I would just like to clarify that Sam was actually in depth conversationalist ex- while you and Rob were just. Thank you. Out Josh. there. I like this guy. <laughs> I don't want to insult our guest because he's you. done nothing wrong. How many times have we fired Chachi? Because obviously 14. it's not enough. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> Lucky number fifteen. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it was just a guess. Anyways, guys, and you guys can't is... <laughs> fire me because that would imply I get paid. Yeah, and we did just give him business cards. So I mean, business that's... cards. Yeah, he got business cards. I did. How does he have business cards? And I because can't. obviously I do a better job than you, <laughs> sir. Ooh. I'm gonna burn your internets to the ground. Okay. Try oh. it. Try it. 
You don't wow. know where my internets are. Wow, so very angry just to start off the bat. Holy, holy uh. hell. Um, well, uh, yeah, this is the Awesome Cast, and uh, you can check us out at awesomecast.com. <laughs> We're doing this live every Tuesday this is at the 7 angry p.m. Cast. The Anger Cast. Uh, awesome <laughs> Cast at sorgatronmedia.com if you want to respond to the anger, uh, or Twitter us at Awesome Cast, or give us a call at 724 Cast. That's 724 252 2278. And hey, check us out on iTunes, Mediafly, Roku, Blip TV, YouTube. Comment things, tell your friends, all that fun stuff. And we've been on PC TV. PCTV21.org if you're in the Pittsburgh area. On your I don't believe it because I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it yet? Nope. <laughs> well, I don't even have cable, so I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask. I've, I've seen Unsung, You've seen Unsung. on PCTV yes. Wednesdays at 9.30. <laughs> Fantastic. But I have, I've yet to see Awesome Cast on PCTV. Because it's on... It, it, well, yeah, I, nope. It's on I, like I don't believe PM. you. You're at work. I don't believe you. Actually, I believe it's on tonight at 10 p.m. And... On this. You can't prove it to me because I'll be right here. <laughs> it is a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. So, so hopefully when you're watching the Wrestling Mayhem show when we record it later, somebody take a picture of us on their television that doesn't have a Roku box. I don't know. Is there a little PC TV in the corner? I don't, I don't know for that. I don't know. Uh, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> yes, there is. Now they think about now, it. Now, speaking of feedback from before we started talking about TV, um, AJ is always... Uh, big and he's always angry. he's always very angry after he hasn't been on a show. He's I don't know angry. if he's we're saying stuff wrong that's wrong and he tries to correct us or he's just generally unhappy because he's not on the show for a week. He yelled at us. He did yell at us and this is what he wrote. Uh, I, shame to you all for equating control C and pause break. They are not the sa- the one in the same. Control C offers to terminate the command but but only, uh, sorry, but only when its current step is finished. Pause break sends an immediate interrupt to CPU that pauses the execution and can restart if you hit enter. Big difference. A uh, shame from AJ. Um, but oh, from sorry, the chat I room, use operating systems to wait, take care of this for me. Hold on, I, yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not command line. But in the chat yes, room, yes, yes. Chilla talked to him and they determined that he's wrong. Okay. Pause pauses the script. Okay. And control pause slash break breaks the script. It's like Superman when he trapped the people from Krypton. I have no idea. Did that. we Krypton. establish that like everybody is wrong? Is that what's happened? Yes. Okay. Everyone everybody is wrong. Is mistaken. Especially yeah. you, Rob. Especially Rob. Um, yeah, Rob. He's super wrong. You're all fired, except for Sam. Oh. Sam is fired. Hey, thanks. <laughs> everybody likes me because I. <laughs> They haven't gotten to know me yet. <laughs> That's because, <laughs> nice. No, you're the guest. You're the, we, you're we, the new guy in town. Yes. So. <laughs> Yeah, I get the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> oh, he said that when I was sideways, when you were messing with the uh, the camera view, oh. it was like when Superman trapped the people from. Oh, Krypton. when I was doing that 3D thing yes. in Wirecast. Okay, okay. Can, can you, you do like, that? In, I don't think I can do that. Well, I can do that now. You should but try. I should try that right now. Right now. This is the thing that crashes the show. Just it'll be it'll be tremendous. Will it crash the show? I, it might, I don't know. I you tried doing 3D on the show. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. That's what we got. That's the Chachi uh, alternative shot. Chachi sideways. I, I apologize to our Skype people. <laughs> I can't see that. Um, yeah. <laughs> it sounded awesome. It sounded awesome. Well, how do you think the people that listen to this in audio feel? <laughs> right. I don't know. I'm cutting your head off with a chainsaw. They're usually like jogging or you know going shopping or some, and we can't cuss, right? <laughs> we try not to. Okay, cool. I got a tweet. It's what? <laughs> it says, I think it, Chachi says it's hopped up on roids. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the instant feedback you could be getting if you're watching this show live. Did you just retweet that? You retweeted that. Thanks, Chilla. That's tremendous. <laughs> All right, we also had a submitted story from AJ. Uh, Ustream is now on the iPad. Yay! Weren't they on the iPad before? Uh, they were, they don't think they had an actual iPad app. I but don't see I that guess, in the notes. I guess it's oh, they had no, they had an iPhone app, but now they have an iPad app. Mm-hmm. That's today uh, over at TechCrunch, uh, today's streaming video services launched their first mm-hmm. iPad optimized app, allowing users to view live and recorded content streaming through the service and to stream their own footage directly from their iPad too. Uh, is that over Yay. Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi at 3G? Ah, uh, who knows. Uh, it does have AirPlay support, which will let you stream whatever you're watching on Ustream to your television. So you could watch this. Well, we're not Ustream anymore. Never, never mind. Um, right. <laughs> yes. 
Well, that's good. And I wonder if they also interrupt your stream every 10 minutes with an ad, regardless of what you're watching live. I hope so. Yeah, mm. I hope they are. Get that monetization. I, just, I saw a BP ad while we were waiting, and it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, um, it was basically like the Gulf Coast is 100%, and if anything, it's better now. Oh wow! It was, it was yeah. It was, oh, it, that, that's on this Justin TV that we're on. Yeah, I almost threw up. Well, my, you know, uh, at, at least, life. at least it's only pre-roll ads. I mean, I, I was uh, our friends over at Burgseyeview.com were doing. They're starting to do live streams on Friday nights, and I sit there and I'm watching the live stream, and it interrupts the live stream for an ad, and then just resumes it in progress. So I lose if I'm in the middle of a conversation. I lose what 15 to 30 seconds of their conversation. Watching yeah. for shame. That's come on, guys. Come on. Yeah. Seriously. There's a, there's a big annoying or uh, daily motion does that every five minutes too. But at least like yeah. it bunch stops. Of horse, yeah. Bunch of horse fish, as you can ask me. Yeah, he, yes, he <laughs> remixed himself. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fan. So, yeah. are we getting to the news? Or are we going to talk to this, our guests? This is the news. Are we getting oh. to the rest of the news? Yeah, I don't. Why are you asking me these questions, Mitch? Because it was part of the fan section. Yes. So I don't know what you're doing. You're jumping the gun, is what you're doing. No, I want to <laughs> congratulate a company on doing or attempting to do something that's awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm excited, and you're trying to keep me down. You're the man, and you're trying to keep me down. Are these the roids talking? I don't understand. <laughs> he is so angry. These are definitely the roids talking. I don't know what was what we okay. Let's let him settle da settle down a little bit and let's catch up with Sam. <laughs> That's all just, I was I mean, asking. You I, I, got, I got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> oh, you have stuff, and you're gonna say it. <laughs> okay, cool. Holy hell! <laughs> sorry, man. Don't hurt me. Don't well, hurt anyway, me. No, Sam, sorry. Sam, uh, <laughs> it's like the episode of South Park. Yeah, with uh, Jimmy on roids. Yeah, that was the worst episode ever <laughs> in terms of like them crossing the line. Okay, like he got on. He was on performance enhancing drugs for the Special Olympics. And then he beat the crap out of everyone with his crutches. <laughs> it was... Oh, sorry. Okay, we've lost Chachi. Rob, do you want to take the show back over? <laughs> what, what? Where am I? <laughs> uh, Who are you? <laughs> he's distracted, too. It's happening. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, I was writing this email. <laughs> I'm out of water. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this, is, this is up there. This is the best show. Yeah, I, got, I got no water up there. Oh, wow. Awesome cast number 61. Ooh, something shiny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, no, Sam, like we were saying before, you, you recently moved to Pittsburgh. How's that that's, going that's, for you? You know, it's just... Uh, no, I, actually, I love it. I love it here. <laughs> um, Pittsburgh is, uh, you know, as you know, it's full of nice people. Not, and uh, apparently not on this show. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not talking about this show. I'm talking about my street. <laughs> okay, that's good. My street is really nice. Don't do a podcast with them. <laughs> I, I moved to uh, I moved to Bloomfield, and uh, you know, I, I, I was raised in uh, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and uh, and coming here was a, you know, I thought it'd be a big culture shock, but you know, it's it's really not. We have a lot of mullets here, and that's good. <laughs> so it's one it's, and the same. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's just like I, I just I just went over a couple streets and uh, no, I, you know it's it's. Uh, I think the am I right? The mullets here are ironic mullets, right or not? Uh, not really. No. Oh no. No. no, no. They're, they're purposeful. They're uh, uh, one hundred uh, percent real they, mullets. They've been that way. Yes, they've been that way. Okay. Well, you know, there's nothing bad with mullets. Yes, uh, there is. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. <laughs> it's just a hairstyle, right? <laughs> um. Well, my well, mullet. No, you're, um, a, you're a web design guy. So, uh, how's yeah. uh, how's the switch been? Uh, uh, you know, coming here and doing your thing. Well, um, I've been doing my uh, thing remotely for a couple years. I do um, I do like stuff with um, a beta. So, um, and um, sorry, brain fart, um, Estee Lauder and stuff like that. So, I've I've been working remotely for a couple years. So, coming here is just um, Socially different, but professionally right now it's the same because I've been doing the same thing, um, which is good in a way. But 
I don't know. Maybe eventually I'll, I'll work somewhere locally. I don't know. But right now I, uh, you know, been doing the same thing. I see you, Chucky. Ch- 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 <laughs> doing, what are you doing, Chuck? He, he's cool. He's, <laughs> I see you the whole time. There, there's this. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to distract anyone. No, I just fine. couldn't have help but laugh. Uncle Crappy, uh, Mike Pound, he's been on the show. Yes. He sent a tweet out. And it was it was just an image, but it says uh, as disconcerting as you would think, and it's a poster, and it's a big picture of Jeff Goldblum, and at the bottom it says Jeff is watching you poop. Is that new to you? Yes, I've never <laughs> seen that before. Welcome to the internet, Chachi. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's legitimately from like I the first time I saw it, I was in junior high. Uh, you're a liar. I'm not. You know why? Because it was inside liar. all of the stalls in my junior <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, you also have to remember that I grew up in the middle of nowhere. I grew up in uh, a shore town in New Jersey. Ooh. I grew up in, in Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I grew up in uh, Glasgow, Kentucky. Yeah, back to you, Sam. Oh, so it's Scottish. Oh. Let, let, let's oh, yeah, it's very talking. Scottish. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes, you might. Uh, you might. I, I don't even know what I was. <laughs> Episode but, uh, sixty-one. Uh, something shiny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Go ahead, Sam. Back to you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm new to Pittsburgh. I, I love it. I love the Pittsburgh people. Um, they're good. And uh, Rob, actually, I should say that Rob um, answered a bunch of questions. Um, I got uh, in contact with Rob. Uh, through some article on POP. Uh, I guess that's People of Pittsburgh. Um, we call it anyway. Pop City. I th- I Pop, Pop City, Pop right. City. Pop City. So, so anyway, I wrote Rob, and he's been, he was like the most um, hospitable, like, he answered all my questions about Pittsburgh. And uh, yeah, now I'm here. So I'm really Wait, glad. Thanks on. for having me back on. Were you talking about our Rob? Yeah, Rob De La Creta. That, that's wow! a lie. Hold the phone. He pronounced my name <laughs> right. That's a that's that's an uh, outright lie. You know how many episodes it took Mike to say my name right? Yeah, it took me a while. It, it was at least like what episode are we on? I was right like, now? Uh, it took me at least five. I mean, I mean, it was it was like what five episodes ago you figured out. I just knew you was Rob, and then I was like, oh, I have to know his rest of his name so I can introduce him. Huh? I could have hey. just, just faked it and just it's, put it on screen and let other people, everybody else, mispronounce it. It's Rob De La Carte. <laughs> I, go, I go to like hotels and people just see my name and their brain turns off. They're like, uh, Rob De La Cortez. <laughs> is that, is that, uh, so that's, uh, Spain? My last name is French. Oh, really? Yeah. So, De La, okay, cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's not lay i don't know french all right now that we're all culturally uh, the chat sound room now the chat room I, says it took 10 episodes for sorg sorg to care how to, to pronounce care. your last name <laughs> i oh, tried oh, really oh. hard uh, i like your name rob <laughs> thank you I, I like rob's name too um, i don't like rob whoa like all right chachi all right chachi you're obviously distracted you have it. something to talk about no, Let's tell me no we're no, talking we... to sam <laughs> you think we're... we're talking to my friend sam your friend i'm not sam. that interesting you're not that... <laughs> what the hell? i hope you guys are on video because that oh, okay. was pretty awesome all right um, oh man all right let's get to the news we're we, we, we can't stay on this line. <laughs> Chachi, what's going on that you wanted to talk about? I, I wanted to congratulate EA. Okay. <clears throat> EA Games is going to be the first video game company. Mm-hmm. Like, current creator, not like Gamefly, where they cover everything. But EA themselves are going discless. Completely discless, yes. you're telling me? They want to go discless. Disc. So what does this Disc. mean for people in Nebraska? Uh... <laughs> that means there's. Uh, what was that? Ep- what was last week's episode called? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, well, basically, it's telling them to screw off. But, okay. Because well, I mean, it's like Netflix. They're not going to be able to get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, eat it in Nebraska. That was two. Yeah, two, eat two it. episodes ago. It, wow. Wow. Really? Way to keep up, Mike. Way was, to keep up. What was last week's then? I don't know. Shoot. It's your show. You should know. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, they're gonna do <laughs> a monthly. They're gonna do a a monthly subscription fee mm-hmm. 
and you get everything they have. Any, hmm. All of their games that come out that month, you get access to. In past catalog and everything like that. That's what it says. Wow. That, that hmm. could be interesting. Yep. Now, that we're talking PC-based, or...? That's not... It's not discussed? No. It's not discussed. Um, there's talk of consoles because they're talking about the PlayStation Plus mm -hmm. accounts. We are seeing a little bit of Steam integration already with the last Portal 2 release. So, so yeah, every, yeah, one monthly fee and you get access to download everything they got. Interesting. Straight to your playing console of choice. So, well, I mean, is this uh, this is another play? So we uh, get rid of rentals, get rid of game, get GameStop out of actually, the middleman. If, or if you think about it, it's uh, environmentally friendly. <laughs> what are you throwing away your games when they're done? <laughs> no, but I mean, you don't waste the 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 resources to make plastic. Okay. Right? That's Am I wrong? Point. That's a good point. Yeah. So I mean, kudos to you, EA. Yeah, no more, no more sweatshops making right. those EA games. I um, guess I need less shelving space for my video games. Mm -hmm. So I mean, but I now I can't borrow those games. I don't know. You might no, be, no you're digitally. Right. Yeah, no, they're all, they're all downloads. Yeah. So. Well, I guess I could just give you my username and password. Oh yeah. Really. That's a, that's not a security risk. No. Well, I mean, <laughs> not at all. I'll, I'll give it back. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give it back. I won't remember it at all. Well, I mean, that's kind of like letting someone use your Steam account. Right? <laughs> Chachi, I think we're the only ones that do that. Oh. Uh, you can do that. <laughs> you, uh... Well, we don't, do it at, <laughs> we don't do it at the same time. So, right. I mean, it's not like we're violating any policy as far as that goes. Huh. I mean, yeah. there's no limit on number of devices you can have it on, installed on. I don't think so. They, they started doing a verification system on Steam, and I don't know if that relates. It, no, it doesn't. You just need that code in order to verify yeah, it, that well, you know... Yeah, the whole point is the verification comes to my email. Yeah. And right. I think you know how to get into my email, too. Right. So the, 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 yeah. I, <laughs> we are like a married couple at this yeah. point yeah. when it comes to this stuff. You're, you're my uh, hetero life mate, and that's just the way it yeah, is. I know yeah. most of your information. Yeah. If I need access to an account, I know how to access it. I don't know Ooh. how to access any of your stuff. I know. This is really weird. Yeah, that's because yeah. I'm the butch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going a different yeah. direction. All right, El Chaji, I think you can take a take a powder for a, for a minute. Okay. Because uh, the you know, lion came out this past this past. Oh week. right, and this is the part where I uh, <laughs> walk away. <laughs> OS lion came out came out last. Sorry, week. Sam, Bye. you're gonna be looking at a couch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go for it. Yeah, that's true. Hopefully be able to switch this up a little bit. Uh, but uh, in the, he's walking away. He's literally walking away from... Oh, man. The building. He, he left. He left. He's gone. He's gone. He's completely gone. There he is. There's there's Chachi just gone. <laughs> he just, he's, you're going to go out for a smoke or something. Uh, this is the weirdest you, episode of this ever. Um, you lion tamers. <laughs> what did he call you? I think lion he called tamers. us lion tamers. <laughs> Oh, oh, I language. get it. He's making a joke. Yeah, he is. So, uh, so we've had Sam. Are you a Mackie? I uh, I use Mac computers. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I am a Mackie. Okay. All right. I, I didn't mean a, to make that sound like Trekkie or something like that, but uh, yeah, uh, that's not a. That's never use that term ever again. Okay. Sorry. Mac, Mac, sorry. No. Mackie. Are you a Mac addict? I don't know. Um, are you a Mac user? It's are not you that a hard. user of the Mac Macintosh, the Apple? Are you a father of the Jobsian ways? Let's talk uh, about my favorite. I, I use, <laughs> my pick I, of the week is Macintosh. Right. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, I got all of it. So, so we've had a you know I say up to a week with this. What do you guys think of it so far? I'm a big fan. Okay, what are you digging? Uh, my my biggest uh, 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 you know there's like 300 hidden features in, in Line or whatever. But my biggest uh, changes in my workflow as a result of only using Line using Line for a week, I'd say, is the natural scrolling, mm -hmm. which I gave into. I did not change it back. And over like uh, maybe a day of usage, it is now completely normal for me. And when I switch to a computer that doesn't have natural scrolling, it messes with my head. Mm -hmm. um, and also uh, desktops, the way that they have managed the combination of optimization of CPU and GPU processing and the new way that they're managing desktops 
combined with full screen applications has changed my whole apparatus. So basically now I have a desktop that is mail in full screen. So instead of, you know, depending on your level of, of, uh, of geekdom, if you're an average user and you want to bring an application to focus, you are probably going to move your mouse down to the dock, click on the thing and open it back up. If you're a little bit more advanced, you might do the command space typey typey enter that'll bring it up even if it's if it's minimized it'll pop it up for you um, or now at this point for me switching to an active application is a three finger swipe to the right or the left and that's it and, and i think uh it doesn't make as much sense for me on the imac because i've had so much real estate that i could you know on, on a 23 inch screen that you can you can you know place everything and have plenty of room for your applications but it does feel still a little bit cramped on certain things on a 15 inch screen for my laptop. And even more so if you have like a MacBook Air or something. So the the, the full screen really is making sense for me there. Um, you know, when we picked I'm, up a uh, 11 inch MacBook Air the other day and you'd think like 11 inches very still, like if you're in Windows it kind of stinks and the screen real estate is really small. Yeah. But when you consider that all the applications are in full screen, no, that's, mm -hmm. that's a window on a 15 inch monitor. Like that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not bad at all. And it's the, uh, you know, and then you get that sense of, well, I'm, you know, on my MacBook Pro, I am on a iPad with buttons kind of situation. Yeah, I like it a lot. I, um, hmm. I, I was with Rob. I, the, the scrolling, I was really kind of like, well, I'll ever get used to it. And then I stopped thinking about it. And then all of a sudden, it's that's just the way my hand works. So I don't know. I guess they, they got me there. You know, it was like I thought that that would be a big big problem um but that turned out to be about one day of adjustment and everything else is uh pretty good um i think i don't know if rob you can verify this but i think my battery life isn't as good now uh, uh i haven't had any noticeable change yeah it seems like it's eating through my battery and i've read it in a couple of places um like when i started this it was 99 percent. now i'm at 40 minutes uh so that's right now it's kind of eating through my battery but other than that you know it's it's been uh, pretty awesome i love full screen uh i didn't know how to get back out of full screen at first and uh yeah in uh in chrome well i, I in any application i, I, I had that problem was... in chrome because like in safari you can mouse up and there's a thing in the corner but in chrome Sometimes, it's like, sometimes it doesn't work when you go up in, there in chrome it's like control shift f or something yeah. yeah yeah right um but um i haven't done facetime but it, it's probably like uh skype i would think um uh. <laughs> none of my <laughs> none of my friends uh do do facetime so so uh, anyway i have to go out in the real world and get actual facetime <laughs> i i don't have an iphone or else i'd facetime you oh <laughs> well maybe one day he's my new you best can, friend <laughs> You've been replaced. I've been replaced. Yeah. You better not yeah. tell them all my passwords. Thanks, oh, I'm man. telling them everything. Yeah, can we? Uh, I'll send you an email with all my passwords later. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes, we're buddies now. <laughs> Win. <laughs> so I found a groundhog. <laughs> was he in the tree again? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, his name is Gruffy. Okay. <laughs> and he ran when I came outside. <laughs> I went outside and he took off. As this is the, yes, by our studio we have a groundhog that climbs the tree. A very unsafe the, uh, tree to climb. Yes. Wow, this um, is the most random episode we've ever done. Uh, Chile, I wanted to know if you took a sedative while you were outside. Nope. Nope. Still <laughs> fired up. <laughs> I just realized how ultra close your shot is right now. That's your fault. That's probably. Okay. <sighs> um, but uh, yeah, I've been using it for the last week. And other than that initial uh, spot, like taking over your hard drive for the first <sighs> couple hours, uh, it's been pretty good. Um, nothing real weird or non-functional. Other than I, I had Final Cut crashing on me, but I think that was more because of something I was doing with a camera that was hooked up. What's the, what's wrong, Chachi? Uh, uh, Kevin Smith, Jane, Silent yeah. Bob quote in the chat room. Yeah, that was right before you left. <laughs> um, um, I did have a, a friend I was trying to, I was helping get in line on hit their computer and Parallels kind of took a dive on them. Uh, but that's going to happen, you know, with something like that. Have you guys heard of any anybody really getting uh, uh, themselves in trouble uh, as far as applications they need? Um, no. There's there's a guy that I follow on Twitter named Miggy M I G G I that says 
everything was crashing for him all the time. And that made me feel sad for him, but I haven't... I haven't had any problems. I mean, I use a lot of really strange software for yeah. the work I do in hardware development, software development, all that stuff. And I was very happy that absolutely not a thing broke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably his, like, drawing pad or something. I, he, um, it may be some something, a driver that's giving him a problem. I don't know. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, he's having some problems, but yeah, me, I love it. This is actually the first time I've had a chance to use Wirecast on here uh, that we that we do our switching and everything on, and it's been pretty smooth so far. Um, and, uh, and and I've been a little easier to do, I was doing extra accounts on my computer. What's going on? What's happening? What? Oh, uh, yo, he, was, he, was, he, was, uh, he was doing some mocking, he was going. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, he does that. I'm used to that. Uh, from the chat room, Chilla says he's amazed at the speed that the updates are coming out. Uh, he ha he had to use a beta for his video stuff and had to update had an update for VirtualBox. Uh, several major major issues uh, with data transfer from Snow Leopard to Lion. Apple rushed an update out and is is as out already. That's from uh, the eBay kid. Um, so yeah, this, this could this be the smoothest? <laughs> <laughs> update they've done because I can't. I mean, Snow Leopard had problems. It was a while before you did Snow Leopard. Snow the, Leopard uh, had a lot of problems. My yeah. boss still won't upgrade to Snow Leopard because of how many things mm. broke. Yeah, and I remember there's a couple of things that 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 didn't work when we did it in the uh, in the video house I used to work in too. So, <laughs> yeah, Snow Leopard was almost like a beta lion, right? Almost. Yeah, seems like it. I mean, in some aspects. I mean, obviously. It feels like um, Lion is just a step toward the unification of their um, mobile, their um, what a mobile like uh, iPhone, iPad. Seems like it's all sort of starting to converge functionally. I mean, that's why the scrolling, I guess, is different. It's almost like you're. Um, yeah, yeah, and that makes sense because I, I mean, if you look at a lot of yeah, a lot of people starting on those iPhones, I, iPads, like they're being introduced to that uh, Apple culture, and. To go to that 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 touchpad, I, I, I guess it makes sense, but it's against what everybody that's been using computers in general has known for how many years. Yeah, it's just surprising how quickly it just became. No, and I wasn't conscious about it. It just, I mean, it's just, I mean, I don't know. It's just the opposite, and you your brain adjusts really quickly. Um, mm -hmm. Or I mean, it's. I think I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. It, it, it hasn't caused me any more problems. At first, it was like. I couldn't even read a web page because yeah. I kept on going to the top and I was, it was just, but. Hey, I'll right. have to try that. That was one of the first things I turned off was the was the uh, opposite scrolling because I first did it on uh, on the iMac, oh, so yeah. I had the old Mighty Mouse. So it was like, this doesn't make sense at all. Um, but, you know, a lot of people were saying it, it, it kind of built, it kind of, you know, converts them. So uh, maybe maybe I'll take the dive and give it a week and see what happens. Yeah, and when the, um, I'm sure on the next laptop, the screen will be, um, have multi-touch and so i guess when you get that you'll probably want to switch sense. it back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, i have heard some people having problems when they have like like pens like uh, devices like that um oh, yeah. and uh what do you guys think about the uh the ios like uh organization for your apps for me this is the first time i've ever organized my apps on the mac adequately i have absolutely no use for it whatsoever okay now, why is I, that? Uh, because I'm of the, the command space variety. I don't need to look at where anything is because it's like three keystrokes away. Okay, so. okay. But you're you're kind of the power user. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I mean, for, for a lot of people, and usability-wise, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of... you have gotten used to keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. It kind of makes up for the people that are like, where's the start menu, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because especially for people who are like your parents or for like the average user, not the power user, not the geek user, not any of those of us currently on the show. Um, mm -hmm. Switching from the Windows paradigm of you have things on your desktop and then you have things in your start menu and when you install something, it automatically goes into start programs or start all programs or whatever. Uh, even the feature that they implemented in, I think it started in Vista, but really in Windows 7, where you can open the start menu and type in the first couple letters of whatever you want to launch. Most people don't even know that exists. <laughs> you got so, that right. <laughs> <laughs> Quite uh, so to see this in OS X means that the transition for Windows users to Mac is much easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going jobs. into the applications folder, 
I know a lot of people have no clue what happens to an application in OS X when you install it. Mm -hmm. We got you. And, but, I, like I said yesterday on Twitter, if Uncle Steve wants me to switch to Apple, he'll create me a pair, a pair of eye legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. No, but no, more importantly, uh, something else to mention, the security in uh, OS X Lion is, uh, is, is decades above what anything else you can get in the consumer. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot about it. Is it File Vault that uh, people are going on about? You can now uh, encrypt everything. Everything. Mm. Not just some things, everything. Okay. Um, and it, it, the way that uh, I, I don't, I honestly don't know the nitty gritty. I just read a bunch of, uh, you know, cheeky articles about it. Yeah. But the best thing I read was, uh, I forget who said it, but they said that uh, when you compare the uh, security upgrades that come from upgrading to Lion to the latest available from any other operating system, his advice across the board is to upgrade to OS X Lion, and that includes Windows users too. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. I was I was worried because I heard after I installed that uh, boot camp might be destroyed for some people. Luckily, mine wasn't. Now I am also getting from the chat room from the eBay kid. Uh, Snow Leopard deleted my entire user file when I upgraded because I had a guest crap. account. I, a few people had that go happen to them, right? All I have to say for that is uh, that's why you should have backups. Yes, yes. Still and all pain. I have to say about that is I'm really sorry to hear it. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I mean that. You know, that I mean seriously. That, that's kind of you know all my stuff is off board on a uh, on a uh, external drive, so that's why I kind of feel safe. Uh, yeah. Doing my upgrades is like okay, I'll have to reinstall everything, but everything is safe on a different drive. But you know if you're hanging on with everything on a laptop, I can understand you know that's going to be a little bit harder. So make sure you get that uh, time machine going on. Yeah, he says time machine saved him, and he's got a monkey smiley face. Thank you, Justin TV. Um, <laughs> it's still that, but that's it. Doesn't matter if you have everything backed up. That's just your heart's sinking of the oh, I got it a night ahead of me, you know. Because yeah. I mean you know regardless, it's still going to be like a half hour install and having to restore all that and all your user settings and all that stuff. So yeah, there's um there's a couple points I want to make. Um, they said it, there was a million people who downloaded it um, mm -hmm. first in the first day. week. I really think that's to the credit of the App Store experience. The um, mm -hmm. when you when you buy it, it's just much easier than previous uh, um, releases of of uh, OS uh, OS 10. So you just buy it and it just uh, starts downloading and it just you know it's it's. A lot quicker, a lot simpler experience. Um, it was. I was really impressed with just everything with the App Store. Um, it was the easiest upgrade, and mm -hmm. I think that's why so many people have already upgraded because it's very no-brainer. Of course, if you lose your profile and stuff like that, that sucks. But um, for a lot of us, it, it seems smoother. And, and I think, and actually, the articles I'm reading are, are saying it was one million in the first day. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, which is amazing because I, I know I, I rolled out of bed about you know it was the day after these, so it was like nine in the morning. I'm like, oh, I, I probably missed. I, you know, I'm probably in the middle of the rush. Went ahead and did the buy, did the download, and it was downloaded pretty quickly, quicker than any uh, first day iPhone update I've ever seen. Um, personally, mine took eight hours to download. Oh geez, Rip, what, yeah. what? Yeah, so I got a new internet connection, <laughs> and um, no. yeah, it's it's Verizon, whatever, craptastic. I don't know. It's it's um it's slow, and it took eight hours for it to download. And uh, I'm on yep. FiOS over here, so I might have been part of it. Um, yeah. Do you do you have an already experience getting it off the off the server there, Rob? Uh, it took me half an hour. There you go. I downloaded it the night it came out. That's awesome. Go. So, I mean, and, and, you know, already we're seeing there's been news items last week that they've taken iWork off the shelves, GarageBand, you know, value packs and all that stuff off the shelves at the uh, at the Apple stores. Uh, so this is going to be the way that you're going to deal with it. And, uh, and it looks like the next Windows is going to be very similar. Hmm. So, so if you're not on the Internet, you're not really computing too much. So, so, like I said, if you're in Nebraska, 
<laughs> you're right. screwed. You can go to your nearest Apple store, which I'm sure is uh, about three hours away, uh, and use their Wi-Fi is an option. Um, or or you can spend, I think, is it $70 for a USB key with Lion on it? Is that what they're doing? Is it 70 bucks? I think it's like 70 bucks. There was like a 30 or $40 upcharge for this. Uh, let me see if I can find the article hmm. real, real quick. Um, but yeah, and it's like, I mean, what was this, a four gig file? So you got four gig hard, uh, flash drive, which doesn't cost that much, right, guys? <coughs> nope. <coughs> <coughs> I just, uh, whoa, yeah. technical difficulty. We're about, <clears throat> to, about to lose our, uh, but it, is it, um, like a family pack thing? Uh, I don't know. Like, well, even if you buy that one, that one uh, license, they don't care. It doesn't seem like they uh, care what you put it on. Hmm. Okay. Is it is it like a special thumb drive? Is it, does it, does it have is a, a is picture it of? A, is it white? Is, is, is it a is picture it, is of a like lion on it? Steve Jobs thumb or what's the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an actual Steve Jobs thumb. I don't okay, know. sixty nine dollars yeah. from eBay kid in the in the chat room, um, and it is. It looks like it's available. Today at the Mac App Store. Well, that's. Perfect. Does it vibrate when a new Apple product comes out? Oh, it lights up. It glows. It glows. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's uh, nice. No, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. That's, that's not factual at all. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So, well, hey, you know, that's that's uh, what you know. Considering like recent, I, I've had uh, a few different instances where people have Dell computers and they don't have their discs. You know that whole experience. Like, uh, well, I really need to reinstall Windows. Well, you have your disk? No. Well, you're going to have to buy it. Ooh. And you can't get XP. And good luck. Um, and that that's the experience, let's say, the general person has. Is that they lose their disk. And now they don't have to worry about that. Because yeah. if something happens, you know, aside from your drive completely crashing, the, the computer will uh, connect to the Internet... And it's in a recovery mode and download the operating system again. And it's probably similar to the uh, EA story, right? Where, um, you know, if you have all your games on disc, um, they can get scratched, damaged, mm -hmm. et cetera. And now we have, uh, you know, the cloud. And, uh, you know, it seems like the cloud is over everything. And so hopefully uh, it takes care of a lot of a class of problems where people lose damaged disc you know steal them you know yeah you know you, you know and you, you're seeing that where i know like for us with steam i've rebought some of my games because like the disc is old or i have to install it and then find all the patches whereas steam is just you know i can get the original unreal downloaded anytime anywhere i want that i sign in on you know yeah. that experience of i can put lion on any computer i sign in on you know, any device I sign in on. Uh, but you can only assign five computers to your address. That is a thing, and that that's, you know, that, you know, who has more than five unless they're a business and they'll be buying bigger licenses anyways, hypothetically. So, I mean, for me, like, so even me, you know, how many computers I'm surrounded with, but they're not Macs, but you never know in the future. Um, <laughs> But it, and and then the idea of like uh, you know I have old uh, yeah like you said with the, with this I have an old disc of an EA game Future Cop uh, that is cracked and I'm I don't dare to put it in an old PC, you know, so, um, but yeah, uh, what was this? <laughs> Microsoft yeah. would run you a mint to upgrade all these computers. So, and there's, there's another contrast there. But then again, Microsoft's making money off of each of those licenses versus Apple just wants to make sure you're still running their stuff. Right. And able to buy more of their stuff off of their store. Yes, it's more of a, it's more of a medium than a operate. I mean, it's, um, it's sort of a promise that it's a guarantee that you're going to buy more stuff later and they get a 30% cut. So mm -hmm. it makes sense to, to sell it for nothing really. Speaking of 30% cut, have you guys seen the story about they've enacted the, uh, what was the in-app purchases uh, percentages mm. in, in the Apple stores for uh, the iOS devices? Um, if you're uh, a Kindle user, you're not going to have that link, that handy link in there to go ahead and buy your books. And there's been workarounds for a lot of them where they're just telling you, they just instruct you to go to the website and buy them instead of uh, adding a button. Mm. Because 30% of those sales would go to mm. Apple. 
Wow. I don't, yeah, so I don't really I, explain that again. So if you put a link, uh, a, a link to a Kindle book, is that right? It, yeah. If you were in the Kindle app, I mean, you used to be, you know, go buy Kindle books. Here's here's the link. Here's the button right here. And it would go right to it. Right. Right. Um, apparently, they ch- when a few months ago, when they changed the uh, the uh, the user agreement for developers or whatnot, that would entitle Apple to 30 percent of those uh, of those those uh fees hmm. profits from that. Uh, yeah, that's th- th- crap. This was back when people are wondering if 30% of your Netflix subscription was going to go to them, 30% of magazine subscriptions, you know, stuff like that that was outside of uh, of your of your apps. Yeah. So uh, it looks like everybody's working around it. Well, that's, that's good, as they should. I mean, 30%, that's, uh, that's, a that's, a, that's a lot. And that's that's just for providing that link. I mean, that's that's. I think they were trying to get 30% of ones that were outside of like yeah i don't know it, it, it was really sketchy they were saying like netflix wasn't included and stuff like that but it wasn't really clear what was but so so uh looks like you're not going to have your easy access i'm sure my audible if i go to my audible app you're not able, you're not able to purchase through that anymore either so yeah but no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the re- response from Funky Dung and everybody calls Microsoft evil. So, yeah, I was. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's pretty crappy. But that's that's, uh, that's how they offset your thirty dollar operating system operating system you can put all on, on your all your computers. So it's pretty crapple of them. <laughs> so here's Sorry. one for Chachi. <laughs> what up? Guitar Hero is coming back. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Hey, that's yeah cool. yeah. yeah. I thought that's what Rock Band was for. That's what Ooh. Rock Band was for. Yeah, no, no. Is kind of true. no. Right. This is going to be going to a different developer. They're going to retool and relaunch it. Why? Because that's Activision. That's what Rock Band is for. But uh, Activision doesn't own Rock Band. Yes, but yeah. Rock Band did it better. <laughs> yeah, and they didn't do it a thousand times. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yes. Rock Band did two, three. How many are there now? There's three, three Rock Bands. Yeah, there's, a, there's a Beatles version. Uh, Green Day, I think, is rock band. And then there's like 14 guitar heroes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At least in rock band, you get to choose the instrument you want to play. Mm-hmm. You can mm-hmm. play guitar, you well, can sing, you remember, can play bass, you can do drums. There's a keyboard now. Mm-hmm. Guitar mm-hmm. hero, you get to do guitar. No, they have the drums. They had the drums and the microphone. They had a bad version of the drums and microphone. Okay. Let's stick with what Guitar Hero was good at. The guitar. The guitar. Well, remember, the, guitar, the, the people that made Guitar Hero went and did Rock Band. Right. It's only Guitar Hero and named with Activision. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they clearly, this is what happens when you um, ask a friend of mine who's a video game uh, insider, Wes Keltner, with uh, uh, Gun Gun Media. And he said, uh, the guy, the, the head, what's the guy's name, the Activision uh, founder? Anyway, he he basically doesn't play his own games. And uh, <laughs> they're just chasing, they're chasing the money now. Um, and it's that's what you get when you chase the money in video games. You get this. You know, you get disconnected and you get, um, you saturate and then you're irrelevant. And I think that it's hard to recover from that. And I don't think they will. That's my mm-hmm. two cents. You know, I think yeah. They- whereas you have Rock Band, they would say we're up to the third version of it. And it doesn't look like they're going to put one immediately in the future. But uh, like uh, what got linked <coughs> in the chat room here, uh, Rock Band has 3,000 songs. They basically be the uh, turn their own turned over their own like iOS store sort of experience and making money off of that. They don't need to put out more games. Right. Whereas like Activision was doing every game was basically a song pack. Yes, it, it was whatever they could do. Hey, Rock Band sold really or uh, Guitar Hero sold really well. Why don't we just make a buttload more of them? And they saturated the market. Is what happened. That yeah. and they weren't all good. Silent Ninja no one, actually linked that, that. No one wants Metallica. Well, somebody on, wants Metallica. On go- no, but somebody doesn't. If you want they don't Metallica, want, they don't want Metallica, and they don't want and eighties rock hits, and uh, what was it was rock band, and then there was uh, what's the what's the band one that had all the poppy songs? It was uh, oh, Band Hero. 
Yes. And then no, they had the, DJ Hero, were... and then they had whatever yeah. else Hero was out there. It just it. No, DJ Hero was cool. Okay. Let me let me just draw the line there. Okay. First off, all right, let's go back to Guitar Hero. All right. No one wants Metallica Guitar Hero. Okay. They want rock band Metallica. Okay. They want the track pack so they can do they it want, all. They want harmonics doing Metallica. Right. They don't want what Neversoft, who did uh, they did the Spider-Man games back right. in the day, and they did the Tony, Tony Hawk. Yeah. So, and, and this is going to be a new studio. They're just going to pass that over. Uh, to a new studio, studio to to retool it, uh, yeah. and, and they mentioned Funky Dog Men's, uh, recalls hearing about a Guitar Hero style game with a real guitar. That's actually Rock Band Three has that, yes. and Silent Ninja has the. Yeah. It is a real guitar. Has right. a few marks for Rock Band. Has a little Xbox edition on it, and it is a real guitar. He can unplug, put in an amplifier, and go, and it adapts to that. Right. That is tremendous. Once, that once was you putting reach it that, forward. Once you reach that part. Mm -hmm. There's no need to make another game. Mm -hmm. Just release songs. Yeah. And, and that's what they did. That's what Rock Band's doing. I mean, now, they, they even to the point, they backed out. I think uh, MTV Games backed out of the partnership with Rock Band, but they're still going to go. Right. And they're going to sell these songs because there's, you, you, you create, instead of creating the new games and going that, you create the platform to put these songs out on. And that's what they did. And the music industry loves it. They created tools that if I'm an independent artist, I could go either get somebody that knows how to use it to do it or, you know, do it yourself. Well, how many right. Jonathan Colton and MC yeah. Front a Lot, not major label people, are Colton, on Rock Front Band because lot, of that? Paul and Storm. Yeah. All these people, and they're all on there. They made it accessible, and they're making all the money on the residuals. But, I mean, and to go back to Guitar Hero for a second. All right. They didn't improve their game. They just released more mm -hmm. until they got the DJ Hero, which was something different. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And that is a hard game. So, yeah. I mean, that game was actually... That was the only big innovation they really did. Right. It. And that was what the people wanted. Mm -hmm. They wanted a Guitar Hero rock band slash uh, type game with hip hop. And that's what they did. Mm -hmm. And not only that, let me just point out that the DJ Hero soundtracks mm. are amazing. They are. They are. Like if you if you get a chance to, to pick up one of those CDs or, or you know, I mean, listen uh, to it online or something, there's a lot of them on YouTube, and yeah. they they are really good. They were it just they're all mashups. Yeah. That, no, that's what the game is. It's all it's all mashups, and it's putting songs together that you normally wouldn't put together, mm -hmm. and they do it well. And I have no problem putting on one of the DJ Hero soundtracks and just letting it play. Yeah, yeah. And I can listen to that anywhere because it's all edited. There's no swearing. And it's not like uh, radio editing. It's all like creative mm -hmm. mixing. I see. Just looking at the list here, we had eight, Rock, Rock the 80s, which I think that was still under uh, under Harmonix. Uh, Aerosmith, Metallica, Van Halen, uh, and then DJ Hero, DJ Hero 2, and Band Hero. And Band Hero was basically like pop songs yeah. in, in Guitar Hero fashion. Right. So, yeah, it, it got pretty bad. Not to mention the portable games on the, uh, I think it was on the DS, that were very, very uh, uh, hand wrangling on that thing. Yeah, so I don't, I, was, I've those, never. Those seemed kind of rough. I've never done that. But I don't see how that can be comfortable at all. Because it, well, they had an addition thing that with like they had the buttons. And right. No. No. That's what I'm talking about. That, that, yeah. Yeah. It I, was I, don't, I don't see how that could be comfortable after a half hour of it was, serious gaming. It, every review I saw said it's carpal tunnel inducing. Right. So. Mm. But uh, well, totally. we'll see. Maybe if they're going to retool it, but they always seem to do this. It's like we got Tony Hawk one through what four, and then we had Underground, and then we had, you know, Skate. With the well, board. Well, with those, the graphics improved. Yeah, the graphics, and they, they started to flesh out the concept. Yeah. But it was still, they did whatever they could to to put a, a new one, uh, you know, once a year. Because that, that's their mode. They, they want to do it once a year. If they can do more and do more spin offs they'll do more than once a year just to, to maximize their profits and, and the game suffer. Yep, they got greedy. Well, not that's always. All. I mean, there's lots of games that do a new one once a year mm -hmm. and believe it or not but Tony Hawk is a, a sports game mm -hmm. so all they did was follow the protocol for other sporting games okay okay and I mean yes 
uh, after a while, there is no need to go buy another Tony Hawk game <laughs> because they're, all they did was change the name of a trick or add a few levels. Yeah, so, or the jackass guys are in this one. Yeah. Hey, there yeah. you go. I mean, so, I mean, yeah, after a while, there was no need to buy another Tony Hawk game. Mm-hmm. But that, I mean, when you when you break it down, all they're doing is following the protocol set by other companies mm-hmm. and other games. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, mm-hmm. hey, you know what people are using a lot these days? Google uh, Plus. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> How many people are using Google Plus, Rob? 4.7 million people are using Google+. Holy Plus. hell! You got That's a lot. You have you have the sun on you there, sir. I'm seeing, I noticed it just started I'm beaming seeing, me in the I'm face. I'm seeing the fence that you that is caging your emotion. <laughs> <laughs> so many options for a show pick right now. Um, <laughs> it's like on my forehead. It is. It is a little bit. <laughs> that's what happens. Your forehead uh, is bright. So, uh, so yeah, 4.7 million users. Uh, the easy joke to make here is uh, that, you know, Google Plus must be doing something right because if you look at how many users that Twitter had and, and like, Tumblr and Facebook had in, like, their first, you know, year, they didn't have that many. And it took them, like, <laughs> at least six years to get that far. And uh, I'm seeing way too much of these uh, really terrible infographics of like really bad statistics. <laughs> really. You know what? They're curious statistics and they're accurate st- statistics, but there wasn't a social media market like there is today. Right. You exactly. Like, I mean, that's everybody the difference. Everybody has social media today. So when somebody says, yeah. hey, I've got this thing, it's just like Facebook, but it's a little different. Oh, sign me yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's versus- like a petri dish, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like a petri dish. It, it, yeah, it's like it's like people are all primed for social media. So yeah, of course it's going to explode, and people are already familiar with the Google name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whereas Twitter and Facebook had to start, you know, from you know another starting point. Google already is very familiar to people, so of course it's going to grow. Um, if it's just decently, of course there's Google Wave, and that didn't grow too much. So I don't know. I, I like it. I think it's a good user experience. The uh, it's visually simpler. Um, it uh, scratches that need for us to like categorize our friends and like you know get away with it, right? Like mm-hmm. you can categorize people as whatever you want. Um, that said, I really haven't communicated very much on Google Plus. I've just been categorizing people. Well, I think, uh, I think, yeah. I think it's hard because a lot of us are used to using the tools that are already there, be it Twitter or Facebook or a combination of the two. I, I know I found found it hard to be like, well, I, you know, oh, wait, that's something I should throw in Google+. Plus. So it, it's hard to just make that transition to include it and, and to include a third thing, you know, mm-hmm. is kind of hard. Now, there's tools out there like I, I just discovered one that I can tweet what I Google+, Plus, but still I have to go to Google+. Plus. So, and, and this isn't going to be solved until we see... Uh, the API open up in my Hootsuite and yeah. my tweet decks apps. and everything else. I want apps. Apps? Yeah. yeah. Or we were, but because, you know, you know, it's a double edged sword because that's going right. to bring it's gonna on. Make it suck. Yeah. They're like, still. all right, we got our uh, Google Plus apps, but. I can check on my goats now. Now what? we can check yeah. our Farmvilles too. Yay. Uh, but we can probably yeah. play words with friends, so it's, it's not all bad. Right. It's not all bad. So. Yeah. No, it, is it. Is it 4.7 million fresh signups, or are they counting all the people in Gmail that they give accounts to without them? Wanting? No, no, no. That's they didn't do it that way this time. That, that you're thinking the buzz thing. Yeah. They uh, this this is all invite only. Even though they've op- you know they they've opened up the invite, so basically anybody can get in. It looks like. Cause I, I have, have you heard anything of anybody having trouble getting in from Capacity? No. No, not lately. No, that seems to be passed. But you still, you can't just go sign up. My yeah. invites are virtually worthless. But yeah, you still need yeah. one to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which was Gmail for a long time. Let's be yeah. honest. Absolutely. Yep. Now the interesting thing, and I've been a victim. Of, did we talk about the business issue last week? Yes. Uh, well, we sort of did. Yeah, we we did. glazed over it. You were supposed to send me a thing, but you did. Yeah, I couldn't find it. I actually, no, I did find it, and they closed the form. Ah, uh, yeah. So my yeah, apologies. I, I ended up looking it up. Thanks a lot. They did. Re- oh, they did. Well, well first you're of all, fired. the Mashable thing. They did take down Mashable, which was like one of the top uh, accounts, and they're like, "Oh no, you're a business." And then the guy who's basically the the main Mashable guy said, "Well, actually, that's my personal account. That's how I operate on Twitter and stuff." And they open it back up. Now they also hmm. closed our Sorgatron Media account, 
and I changed it to mm. my name and said the official profile of Sorgatron Media, and they opened me back up. Mm. So mm. there's a workaround until we have the official thing. Cheater. So, um, but, you know, I'm watching how I use it. And I still want to use it to experiment for, for what we're doing, even though we don't have the business tools yet. Did you see so. uh, there was actually a thing came out um, a couple days ago by whoever Google put in charge of the, uh, the business uh, throws of Google Plus, And they said that uh, because initially the idea was that if you were a business, you would not be allowed to have any sort of Google Plus account. It would be okay. a completely, completely different thing. But as a result of everybody who, much like you, had created an account with the intention of being like, this is my business, my business should have an account, they basically got flooded with an incredible amount of big name companies okay. uh, that Google has decided to completely rewrite the timeline that they had for producing any kind of business uh, section for Google Plus, and they're looking to have it out in the next few weeks. That's tremendous. That, that well, that's oh, is it a good thing then? You know, was is this something that probably should have stayed pure and and and, and guy and and uh, entrepreneurial person such as ourselves that uh, wanted our companies and logos represented in there? Is it is it bad that we're creeping in on it already? Right. Yeah, or it could be something that needed a little bit more time in the oven too. So I, I hope that it, they didn't rewrite the timeline uh, with too much haste. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it sounds like it's going to be closed at first, but we saw how quickly uh, Google Plus rolled out. But with very few upsets, it looked like. Right. I mean, the biggest issue, biggest gap I see is that uh, their app doesn't work on, like, iOS beta. Which, you know, hey, it's beta people, you know. Yeah. So. I like it. I think it's, I, I, um, I see less people posting on Facebook in my little circle, mm -hmm. um, I think. I think it's it's stealing a little steam out of my group of friends, so mm -hmm. I like it more. But I don't know. I mean, it's Google versus Facebook; they're two huge companies. Have you guys seen how some people are? Um, I know one example that's being pushed around is uh, Kevin Rose. <laughs> is uh, uh, he's changed his dot com to just go to his profile, which he's using the Google Plus as a blog. Mm. Yeah, I mean. I have a friend who does that, except for, I mean, you know, that's sort of cute, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, that, are you, are you, like, I guess that I, I've seen, I saw people do that with Facebook a lot. Um, but that's interesting that you would adopt it. Um, what's Kevin Rose up to these days? Uh, he has a new thing called uh, Milk Inc., I believe, um, where it, it's supposed to be some kind of new business incubator. They're supposed to have something called Oink out in the next few weeks you can sign up for. I think it's at oink.com. <laughs> <laughs> you sign up with it. It follows your uh, social stuff. It, oh, you connect it with your Twitter. It follows your Twitter. Apparently, it's doing something on the back end, and I'll let you know what that is in about a week. It connects to Twitter. Wow. <laughs> that's that's, no, that's guaranteed tough. money there. Um, yeah. Big yeah. bucks. So uh, yeah, he said he, he was talking on uh, on Twitter this week about how he uh, just has the .com go into his profile and that's his blog. And yeah. there you go. Super. Which I don't know. It, it seems like it's a little cluttered to be just like to use it as your blog. Because I mean, I'm just cool. seeing links that he's sharing. Here's something that's a little uh, in response to Robert Scoble because he's always in there. Um, I mean, I don't follow. Robert Scoble. If you want a good social experience oh. on anything on the internet, don't follow no, Robert no. Scoble. I always make that mistake on a new platform and then realize that he took over my platform and I really need to, you know, it, it's even uh, Chris Brogan, I, you know, love reading his stuff, but he just takes over my feed so bad so that you know, yeah. you, know you guys and, and Leo Laporte and all those guys, they're not real users in a sense, you know. And, you know, and, and there, there are hundreds of people responding are not going to, you know, they're always going to be at the top. And it's going to look like nobody updated because all you see is like, you know, I just teens, hundreds of fans saying how pretty she looks. And, uh, and, and it blows out like, you know, Rob's valuable content about, uh, about Google+. Plus. That's the other thing. Just to post about Google+, Plus on Google+, Plus driving nuts sometimes, and you're spinning. Yeah. Are you spinning in a chair? Is that what's happening? I am, because That's I was going to get your attention. I have to uh, go downstairs. Um, I may actually drop out because um, it's either that or I'm going to have to go downstairs and plug this up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, like I said, Lion's eating my battery. It's, so. I don't know, but the shot is really Almost cool. Time to wrap so anyhow. it's time to wrap anyways. Uh, now, if you can spin and tell us where to check out what you're working on. 
Um, well, um, please check me out at mnotsam.com. And also, if you uh, time is heavy on your hands, you can go over to Epic Small and tell me something cool that you're going to do this week and do it and tell everybody about it. Um, I don't make any money off that, but it's so money when people use it. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. But you guys are awesome. Thanks again for having me. Uh, it's been even more awesomer than uh, uh, last time. And uh, I could actually hear everybody. And it's great to be a Pittsburgher. Uh, and shout out to all my Kentucky people uh, also. So thanks, guys. thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate awesome. that. Awesome. Thanks a lot. You can go ahead and drop off and plug yourself in. I'll let you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Watch my computer. What? Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good exit. Yes. That's, a, that's a great exit. Um, all right, Chachi, what are you up to this week? What's coming up on you? Nothing. Nothing? Oh, yeah, what? nothing. You, you're you you're so antisocial for a social person. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> that's the part where you get excited. I'm excited! Woo! Chachi says .net. You're yes. talking about video games. I always. It's the only thing I talk about what anymore. What kind of games are coming up this week? You've been, um, you've been doing polls on what you should be doing. Yeah, um, last week was Mario Week. Yeah. We finished that, and I actually have done every Mario game for Nintendo and Super Nintendo that I have to do. Fantastic. So, those are all taken care of. Good stuff. Um, tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might do Super Punch-Out. Okay. Or I might do Super Metroid. Or I might do NBA Jam. I mean, it, it's all up in the air. I don't know what I'm going to do. Super Nintendo NBA Jam. That's yes. not the Wii. That's not the right. iPad version there in front of you or anything right. like that. No, it's so. all Super Nintendo or Nintendo right now. All right. And, of course, Chachi says the big cast will be coming up later this week on right. Sung Next Week. Right. So go check all that what out. That Chachi says said. .net. Yeah. Yeah. Rob D. LaCreta. Hey. Senor Cortez. Senor Cortez. Uh, you going to ask me anything or are you just saying my name? I'm just I'm saying, saying your name. name. Oh, okay. That's what are you up to uh, that coming up there <laughs> and the things and the theirs? It's a little awkward. Um, <laughs> what am I doing? It's hot. Yes. You know, yes. It's... We have new lights in the studio, so it's Wait, incredibly hot. <laughs> you shouldn't be warm. You're from Mexico. Oh, don't start that. You should be <laughs> Don't start that. Why is he from Mexico? His uh, name is be- Senor Cortez. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. I don't know what's up with me. I'm. Uh, You're going to Baltimore. I am going to Baltimore uh, next Tuesday. I'm going uh, in the AM. Uh, so I should be good for show from Baltimore. I think. Ooh. We'll see how that works out. Um. It won't, cause it's Baltimore. And I'm just really busy with work stuff because uh, I do a lot of stuff here and I'm doing more and more stuff here. So maybe that'll mean good things in the future. Um, yeah, it's hot, you know? My car's still broken too, so I'm uh, riding my bike to work in like 105 degree weather. <laughs> Tremendous. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> hey guys, PodCamp Pittsburgh. This guy right here is coming up. PodCamp Pittsburgh. PodCamp Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. PodCamp Pittsburgh. What's pod camp? Yeah, what's it's pod where camp, you sword? camp with pods. Can I bring my tent? You could, but that would be awkward because it's going to be at Point Park University, <laughs> October seventeenth uh, and eighteenth, I believe. October. Here. October. Uh, September. September. That would also be wrong. Yes. Uh, you can go podcamppittsburgh.com to find out. Oh, Sharp Edge just started sponsoring us. Ooh. How do you? Hey. That's so nice. we're not what? camping? We're not. No, this isn't camping, Chachi. It looks really I'll troubled. I'll take though. you on a camping trip when you get better. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. What Pod is Podcamp Pod Pittsburgh is, a, is where you learn, interact, and apply. Uh, we have a bunch of, it's an unconference. It's a yes. conference, but un. Um, I'm, I'm doing a horrible job with this. Rob, do you have I a know. pitch for me? Uh, I do have a pitch. Uh, PodCamp <laughs> Pittsburgh is a social media on, uh, unconference where uh, a bunch of people from Pittsburgh as well as people from uh, usually the accompanying states, but every once in a while somebody visits from uh, far off lands and places. But you're going to see uh, sessions by people who really know what they're talking about, as well as amateurs who are, uh, you know, just trying to stir up some dust just like the rest of us for topics not focusing on on podcasting that's our early podcast days these days it's more like new media it's more like 
uh, doing video casts and getting that stuff, say, on a local cable access channel. Um, producing content for local businesses to promote those businesses. Doing stuff like what, uh, what Chachi does with Unsung, uh, promoting local organizations through other networks that are sharing content about what cool people are doing locally or globally okay. and all that kind of stuff. So basically, the, the short end of it, it's free. You come check it out. It's two days. We mm-hmm. have we'll have T-shirts and stickers, and probably have pens again because we always right. have pens. We really don't ask for them. And uh, we should be if all goes well. <laughs> to be doing yet another uh, awesome cast live. Yeah, and there'll be so, a live awesome cast, so you can check that out, and you can uh, learn a lot of stuff, meet a lot of cool people. At the very least, if you're a geek, you should go because there's more geeks a podcast. <laughs> That's true. It is like uh, Geek Christmas. I, I, I think we say no. It is. It is uh, Geek Christmas, <laughs> and I gotta say, I love the way Rob describes pod camp yeah like when he goes off on the tangent talking about what pod camp is perfect <laughs> thank you Josh. that's why i always let him do it because i like it it works he likes it when you talk uh and of course check out my stuff at sogatron.com i blog occasionally no, you don't and i did blog i vlogged about Ch- uh, dj lunchbox's back hair last week you did. and i did i can't I did. believe thank you, did you at that. scott sweep for uh for making that happen um, I need to do a follow up because a lot of people responded after I posted that. Um, also, uh, check out SorgatronMedia.com where you can sign up for an old, good old fashioned mailing list. So you can check out everything going on in our network of shows. Um, yeah, I get that, and I didn't sign up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for that came with your business card, Chachi. Oh. Um, so, so go do that. Uh, yeah, you know, check us out every week. Uh, we're here seven, around about 7 p.m. Eastern on live.sorgatronmedia.com, just like the the tens and tens of people that have joined us to this after this evening uh, for the show. A great live chat room. Uh, also, follow us on Twitter and tell us how wrong we are at, uh, at AwesomeCast. <laughs> and also, you can email us at AwesomeCast at sorgatronmedia.com or call us at 724-25-ACAST, 724-252-2278, and tell Chachi how wrong he is in person. Uh, go ahead and look us up on iTunes, Media Flat, Roku's, Blip TV's, and Why the YouTube. Why am I the wrong one? I don't know. Okay. You could be. You could be. I usually am. Although, I since he's coming in after this for the wrestling show, AJ can tell you how wrong you are in person tonight. Uh, oh, we'll man. Record. That's, you know, that'll happen. No, he's not coming. What? I don't think he's coming. I think he's coming. I don't think he's coming. I, I, I think he's coming. Okay. Okay. Um, anyways, unless I have a DM that tells me different. So, uh, go, hey, yo. Thanks for everybody joining us. Great, awesome uh, uh, chat room. You've, You've been our awesome, awesome audience. Awesome. Have an awesome week. John Deere, cock guy. Oh, wow, dude, I can move you in 3D. Chachi, check this out. What? What the hell are you doing to me? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, sorry. Sorry, that was that was too too good to pass up. That was awesome. Okay. That was, uh, that was, that was, yeah, that was pretty awesome. Maybe I'll just start I typing can... that email I've been trying to do. <laughs> no, don't do that. You do that, and we're going to...